There are over 500 million active users on Facebook now. And Facebook reports that on average, each user posts 90 pieces of content a month. In fact, on Facebook, there's over 30 billion pieces of content that's shared every month. People start to discuss a picture. They start to discuss a link. They're actually discussing content. So content becomes the, the fodder of communication and conversation. 500 million people are using Facebook. Odds are some of those are our employees and our customers and our partners. And people want to share content and they want to collaborate. If you want to bring on that new customer and, and make them a customer for life as well, then you, you have to be part of their conversation. You, it has to be a two-way dialogue. Social content management is taking a lot of the concepts that we've been working on with content management for a long time, but applying it in a whole new world, the, the world of consumer software that we know on the web, and bringing it into the enterprise to make the enterprise much more effective. The idea of enterprise content management was good and appropriate when content was just inside the company. Now, content has to be social ready. It has to be ready for collaboration. It has to be ready for commenting. It has to be ready for syndication across the web. And the traditional approaches to ECM just weren't built for that. Most of the ECM software had been created prior to the web, uh, hadn't really delivered the capabilities now that people on the web were expecting. The requirements for enterprise content management were things like control and compliance and retention. Now, with social networking and the idea of sharing and collaboration, there's a whole new set of requirements. It's collaboration, it's communication, but with a purpose, particularly a business purpose as well. Social content management is really bringing those content management capabilities of delivering the truth, delivering the items of discussion, and then capturing the results. There's not a one-size-fits-all with content management. You need different applications, there are different styles of application, and it's critical to be able to link these systems and integrate them. And with open standards, you can do that and not be locked into one vendor. In designing CMIS, we were actually thinking of this new world, world where you start to mash things up and systems kind of work with other systems, so portal standards will be important. Things like open social will be incredibly important. The, the benefit of having a platform, it means that someone else who really understands a particular domain can take your basic work and then shape and just morph it a bit to their particular business use case, their particular domain expertise. Open source provides you with this much deeper second level of reassurance that you have the code and you have the code in a form that the vendor can't take it away from you. You have that code forever. So whether you're a developer or an end customer of Alfresco, the power is with you and that's a fantastic, liberating experience.